Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor and today we'll continue questing in the Heat Bells, uh, but I think we will be moving to Nan Kudunir. You might realize I did some tinkering with my allies. I did some tasks, I reforged a couple of them and equipped some new allies, but other than that, nothing new under the sun. So, we're gonna take the epic. You might remember uh, we need to talk to two of the other scouts, but we also need to go to Nan Kurunir, and, and I think that's it. Yeah. So, there are two scouts that we'll need to talk to one to the north and one to the south. The way I see it on our way to talking to the scout in the north will be so close to Nan Kurunir that we'll do the area then. Because to my eyes, it doesn't make much sense doing Nan Kurunir after Book 5 of the Epic. Because Book 5 and Book 6 go back to back. And I don't think there is a space in between them for this. So let us do it. If Saruman does have an army, he's keeping it inside Isengard for now. Things have been quiet on the road for several days now. If Saruman does have an army, he is keeping it inside Isengard for now. I think those must just be Dales, after all. Trombot looks at you curiously. Were you really imprisoned by Saruman? There have been some arguments among the men about it. You nod and tell him briefly of your stay within the ring of Isengard and of your escape. His face falls at your tail. How many Uruks did you say? By the Hammerhand, he does have an army. So yeah, I guess it's time we go back to Nankurunir. To finish the quests on one hand, but on the other on the other one to get some some payback on Saruman's armies. So that's what we're gonna do. Discover the pillar of the white hand. Ah, okay, yeah. Look at it. Not bad. And at the white hand painted in red. Take a look at how eerie this looks. Once again, I think the depths did a great job with it. And here we have our friends. Discover Dagoras camp. Greetings, friend of the, the civil master. So in Enedwise we had Ehad Dagoras, and here it's Dagoras camp, but it's basically the same thing. Well met again, Beriathan, and a wonder it is to see you here after so long a road. Alas, many of my kinsmen have not made it this far. I have not heard from Brygear since his start into the Gravenwood, and young Camarion failed to return from scouting shortly thereafter. I know not their fates. Yet I dare not dwell on such matters, though this journey has let, left me all but empty, for I have yet to complete my task. We find ourselves now before Nan Kurunir, and beyond in the Tower of Orthanc sits Saruman the traitor. Looking across the destruction wrought in this bale, it seems clear now that his wisdom has faded to be replaced by my madness. You should make yourself familiar with the land, my friend, for if we are to find our way to Isengard, we must learn its lay ere we are discovered. We stand here on the edge of the Vale of Nan Kudunir, at the north end of which lies the stronghold of Isengard. Saruman's schemes hatch from here and he guards it jealously. Nearby you will find the Pillar of the Han. Around it are arrayed a number of sentries. Strange and unpleasant, I think they may be more of these queer havorks we have been seeing of late. They stand watch over the road leading into the Vale, and if we are to untangle Saruman's plot unhindered, we will need to weaken their guard. So yeah, there are 
some sentries around here, but I don't think there is enough. What? This half works again. Ah. Uh, I was saying, I'm not sure we, we will find eight sentries just here next to the pillar, but we can keep looking for more as we scout the land. I'll try to get a peek of that during daytime. I think that will be a nicer view. Not by much, mind you, because Isengard is totally wrecked, but a clearer view, for sure. You have found the first patrol point. Nothing to see here. The second patrol point is to the west. Riders Warren. And there is a quest in here, so let us go and check it. I found the second patrol point and a fallen rock earring. Oh god. The body of a fallen Rohirrim soldier lies here, recently slain in battle. Rainbolt had ordered that none of his warriors should enter Nant Kurunus, so it is something of a mystery how this poor fellow came to this fate here. There is no way you can return the fallen warrior's body to Greenbolt's encampment, but if you could gather his effects, you have no doubt that they would be much appreciated. Unfortunately, they seem to have been scattered about in the chaos of whatever pursuit claimed his life. Yeah, they're nowhere to be found. Half work sentry. Ah! Ew, stop it with that. Continue then. Another half work sentry here. Ah! I gotta say, those. Those pots, they lose their novelty really fast. But it could be worse. They could be carrying bombs and throwing you into their companions. And luckily, that madness is behind us. For the time being, at least. Here is the spear. Yeah, I think we'll find more of those goblins with bombs that throw you around further down the road but not right now and that's all I care about because that was a pain
Okay. That's it as far as white hand sentries go. Uh, now we only need to find a helm and the shield of the fallen Rohirrim. So, the shield is in here. So you can see here this shield doesn't bear any of the sigils of the towns of Rohan that we will find along the way. Which is reasonable enough, none of that existed when this quest was created, but it would be really nice if, if something like that could be added retroactively. Like the sigil of the Norcrofts, or the sigil of the Southcrofts, or one of the sigils of West Rohan. Why not? Oh, there is another person here. And the third patrol point. So, really quick, let me grab the helm, and then I'll go towards the south. Yeah, this were here helm. We will see that model again. So we need to find the fourth patrol point. But, we have uh, another quest in here. Andor! Oh, good to see you again! Good to see I just survived the madness of the pit. Greetings, traveler. Bah! Those blasted goblins can see almost as keenly in the dark as the sharpest dwarf eyes. Best to take them by surprise and dispatch a few of their sentries before we are caught and buried under a mass of the evil things. Alright, I'm gonna help you and I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that... Uh, I can sell some things to you. Free up a little of back space. Maybe not much, but hopefully that, that'll be enough for the quest rewards that we'll get in this area. Okay now. I'm not gonna keep that cloak. I know, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna keep that cloak. I guess you could, yeah, you could recreate that look with um, the plain hooded cloak dyed black. But I just wanna be sure before I vendor this. So I will need to compare this to the plain hooded cloak, and I don't have it right now with me. Yeah, that'll have to wait a little bit. Scrap of Rohiric text. That's good. We can start uh, gathering tier 8 materials. Ah! You found the fourth patrol point. So let us go back to Dagoras and uh, we'll continue advancing the, the goblin quest as we get the next steps from Dagoras. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. We are not gonna advance the epic for some time now. Um, let us remove that out of the quest tracker. And uh, we'll continue doing that later. So, where was the entrance to the camp again? Thank you. 
What is this? The belongings of a fallen Rohirrim warrior, I see. I will see to it that Grimbold or one of his men receives this. I do not know what brought that warrior up here, though I suspect he was trying to find out where some of the horses stolen from the Rohirrim were taken. So now you have seen some small part of Nankurinir. Among the western hills, a great infestation of goblins and works has taken root. Across the river to the east, an encampment of works, Uruk, hi, this tribe is called. They are strong and do not fear the sun. To the north lies Isengard itself. We must proceed carefully, for there are enemies all around us. Alright, so we are 6000 XP away from level 75, so I think I'm gonna do... Uh, like what we did last level cap. Gonna equip the Stone of the Tortoise in here and hold on to that until the very last quest of the Great River. Now we have here the quests within Nankurinir, 25 of them. Saruman's remaining sentries will spend more time looking out for themselves than looking for intruders. For a while, at least. It seems that one of Saruman's lackeys is making for the pass out of Nankurinir, presumably to bring a message to the Dunlendings. I think it would be best for our Rohirrim friends if he did not arrive at his destination. He should be passing by the Pillar of the Hand shortly. Deal with the sentries there before he arrives and lie in wait for him there. So, the sentries here, like... This guy. Stop it. Thurman's oh. messenger approaches. Okay. Come here, Garalif. We don't want to be seen. Ah, there I see it. Done landing. Let us dispatch him. Defeat <laughs> Saruman's messenger. Back to Dagor as it is. Have you dealt with Saruman's messenger? Good! The less contact between Saruman's forces and those of the Dunlendings over the next few days, the better. Be wary, Veriathan. A short while ago I saw a strange figure moving south towards the pass but it disappeared before I could determine who or what it might be. Stranger still, it left no trail that I could follow. I do not know what became of it. There are not many who can so easily evade my eye. I fear that this individual may have some sinister purpose in mind. We should redouble our efforts to discover what that is. He disappeared a few hours ago. I tried to pick up his trail, but it was well disguised. Hey, did you hear something? Executioner of Isengard. Ah, oh, stop it. Well, Barathan, you have my gratitude and then some. It has been a while, I have allowed myself to be caught unaware, and I feel more the fool for it, but I am still alive and that is something at least. So. Agility, vitality. Okay, maybe, maybe I could pick those shoulders. Yeah, can't pick the shoulders. Barathan, what know you of dwarves in this place? I must say, well, I was taken aback by a fellow who came by here unexpectedly. He claimed to know you and said that you should meet him near some cave some distance northwest of here to... How did he say it? Have some fun? I will warn you, there is a den of goblins up that way.
Last evening, I spotted a number of horses being led past by goblins, I think, though it was a dark night and I could not make out the figures clearly. The horses seemed wild and upset and there were lower, stockier creatures around them, works, most likely. If I had to venture a guess, I would say it was a party of work riders back from a raid of the Rohirrim encampments near the fort, returning with stolen horses. I am curious where they were taking the poor beasts, for horses have no love of goblins and will not permit them to ride. To ride them, sorry. So here... No, I don't think those shoulders are good enough. So we're gonna go back to Ondor. Um, gotta say, we're already having some fun on him. But yeah, we we got a little ahead of ourselves, but he's just standing there. That quest is just asking to be taken. So what we're gonna do instead is uh, Jesus. find a place in which we can come around this stupid trees. Uh, and defeat some goblins along the way. I saw another one there. Here. Another goblin rider in here. Ah, ah come on, stop. Ah! Idiot. Supposed to find the horses again? <laughs> Near Andra's location, okay. Ah, okay, there's the cave he was talking about. Ha! <laughs> ah, there are so many goblins about. No one will miss an odd center or two. Good work, Bariathan. And your service and your families. Ah, Bariathan. Fancy us meeting in a place like this. But then, where else would we find enough goblins to make sport of? I would be grateful for your assistance. Where there are goblins, there are almost certainly works, and this place is no exception. Those accursed works are everywhere around here. We must thin out their numbers before they smell us out and hunt us down. Uh, well, hopefully there will be works inside this cave. Let us go inside and take a look. Well, in, in an ideal war world, um, goblin riders will also count for words. Although, it doesn't seem to be an issue right now. Do you mean all those work pops splitting us out don't count for the quest? Oh, come on. They do count for killing you, so... Oh, 
Okay, so no horses in here. Deeper into the caves. That would be really cruel with the poor animals, but. Pin is the recipe, okay. So here we have the cook, which I believe is an enemy from another quest. I mean, we'll get the quest to defeat him eventually. But in the meantime, I, I think we can uh, grab this sinister recipe. Using that has no effect. Okay, so that's part of the quest we'll get for it too. All right, in that case, where where are the horses? I just keep finding works and goblins, but cows, but. We have found the missing horses, what is left of them. Witcher's knife. This terrible butcher's blade has taken a deadly toll upon the noble steeds of the Rohirrim and the filth-hided cattle of the Dalending alike. No doubt the villainous butcher that wields it is somewhere nearby. Dispatching the fiend might be considered some form of reprisal to honor the mounts of the Rohirrim. Okay. Here. And I think after we defeat the Butcher, um, we will be sent to the Cook. We'll need to complete that, that quest first. We'll need to go back outside and talk to Ondor, but... But the next one should definitely be... The Cook. Oh, come on, hit it! Riders count for the quest? Nope. What a shame. But let us bring news back to Ondor and he will most likely send us back to the cave. Well met. So that is where the poor beasts were being taken. A goblin slaughterhouse. Dwarves have little love of full-grown horses, but I would not wish that fate on any creature, hoops or no. Ah, oh, come on. Let us go back to... 
bit of work then in here where where the matron was. That is one more pack of the flea beating beasts that we will not have to worry about. Good work, Brayathan. Now you have the quest. I would be grateful for your assistance. The lord of this pack of mongrels is called Manglemo. He is as terrible as they come, but you will not be able to get close to him without the rest of the pack tearing you apart, unless you can challenge him, that is. Works always choose their pack leaders in battle and usually have some place where they issue challenges to each other until enough of them have been ripped apart that the rest are too frightened to fight the one on top. No ranking war can refuse a challenge, so if you step in there they will fight by tradition. Beat enough of them and Mangle Mo will not outface you. Okay, but there is still the matter of the cook and the recipe. Why couldn't I get that recipe before? I don't know. But I'm gonna give it another go. Because I'm definitely missing that. Seems we can use it now. This unusual goblin recipe calls for a number of strange plants that grow in the area. Though you have no urge to sample goblin cooking, there is something about this recipe that knocks at you and you wonder if it might prove useful in some manner. So, I do wonder what's the mechanic behind this exactly like. And you only get the recipe after you defeat the butcher? Or what other quest exactly do you need to do so that you can use that recipe? Kinda weird if you ask me, but... Let us focus now on the ingredients that we need. Butcher's knife, yeah. That's not new. Yeah, that's what I thought. These ingredients are not found within the capes per se, so we need to exit them. Exit the capes to look for them. Let us go do that, and we can also look for Blotma in the meantime.
Alrighty, so okay, yeah. You see? They are not hard to find when you are in the right place. And you don't need that many of them either, so... attacking me now thank you a lot Nelimar appreciate it Okay. Ah! I know about this area is all these failed trees that block your passing. You cannot jump over them, in some cases you cannot even... Ah! 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 You cannot even go down them, below them, so yeah. Traversing this area can be a little tricky. Okay, defeated Mangle Maw. Let us continue gathering the ingredients then. A wart blooms, cramp roots. Where can they be? Wart bloom. Yeah, to the north. What else are we getting in here that might be of use? Speckled ears, not yet. Walks, uh, marked furs, blotchy skins. Let me get the scroll case really quick. Is that met frogs? So they were unified on a single recipe. Oh, good, that's great. Yeah, scholar crafting requires a lot of materials and has a lot of different recipes, so any form of streamlining that, welcome. Now if these guys would stop moving. Are there more cramp roots inside this camp? Seems there will be. Punk Riders Warren, okay. Wart blooms. Let us 
clip here. to make my way around while avoiding some of these guys. Corpse? No. Wart Bloom. Another one here. Ah, oh, but it's this breaking trees. Let us keep looking for them. Fight this guy. Oh, come on. Greetings, traveler. I don't suppose that works would ever accept you as their pack leader, but you have thrown the pack into chaos by killing Manglemo. They will spend days staring at each other until they figure out who the new pack leader will be. Greetings, traveler. Will you stay a moment? So you might have noticed that works do not, do not exactly make the best behaved mounts. Well, it takes a powerful goblin to keep them cowed enough to train and ride them. That is where the master of beasts come in. If you kill him, the rest of the goblins will have a difficult time keeping their mounts in line. Well met, friend. What strange trout do you have there? It looks vile. Let me have a sniff. Ondor's face blanches as he catches the other. What manner of poison is this? Let me see that recipe. A spice? What madman created this? It would fell an ox if you could get one to taste it. Greetings, traveler. Will you stay a moment? No cook worthy of the name would create a recipe like this. I suspect your cook is more of a mad alchemist with a penchant for poisons. Now, we all know that goblins and works are not known for being particular about what they eat, and though most poisons would not bother them much, this little spice might be enough to model one. Perhaps this cook would be a bit easier to deal with after a taste of his own provender. Okay, back into the cave it is. Yeah, really weird. Not being able to pick that recipe at first, but... No matter, so I think there is one area in this cave we have not explored yet. And I hope that's where the Beastmaster will be located. Let us let us check. That would be to the north. Oh, there is an exit here. And where does it lead to? I wonder. To the Funk Riders Warren. Okay, it's an other... Like a shortcut of sorts. But since we still don't need to do any quests in here... Let us go inside a cave.
Jesus, this place is bigger than I thought. Where is the Master Beast supposed to be? Right, take a look at this. Maybe somewhere around here. Ah, finally, take a look at him. You are not easy to find, let me tell you that. go down eventually there doesn't seem to be anything noteworthy noteworthy sorry anything noteworthy on the bottom and now we can make our way back to the cook I think this is what another exit how big is this really but yeah, just as I thought, another exit. And this one would take you to the exact same place as before. Or at least very similar to it. Yeah. Unnecessary for the moment. the cook is a little bit easier to find. Ah! Butcher's knife. Ah! Would you die, please? you die. Ah, huh, smells pretty good. Let's see how it's coming along. Oh, ugh. that's got a little kick to it. Maybe a bit too much. So, the Goblin Cook's defeated. Back to Ondor then. posing but we are out and on door right here well 
never met, friend. Orc riders may be the strongest among goblins, but their mounts are hard to control. With the Master of Beasts gone, this band will have a difficult time mounting up for a while. Agility, vitality, physical mastery. Maybe I could take that ring. Agility, vitality, physical mastery, yeah. I think I'm definitely taking that ring. It is a relief that the Mad Goblin will not be brewing any more vile poisons. Uh, what do we have here? Welcome! You have come at a most fortuitous time! The evil matron of this particular work pack has unleashed yet another leader of the filthy beasts upon the world. She may not look like much, but when I was thinking about earlier, I saw her pup strip the flesh off of an entire ox in just a few minutes, which gives me an idea. That evil spice you made. There is a bit left, yes? A light sprinkle of that into the pup's next meal ought to keep them subdued while you deal with their mother. That's a good idea because last time was not that simple. Greetings, traveler. I finally found the goblin in command. He is up in that stockade to the north. It's a bit tricky to get in there without being spotted by the guards though. Your best chance may be to sneak in through the caves behind the stockade. The goblins call himself the captain of Panks or some such. If you can defeat him, it will be a while before anyone leads a raiding party out of the Vale. Very well. Now we can use the shortcuts we found previously. So I think let us do this as quick as possible as we are running a little bit short on time. So, we apply the spice in here. Horse meat takes on an, an even more unhealthy pallor. All right, so I have got cleared. Did the black matron? How easy it is when you are doing it properly. was blocking my way. I just hope I'm coming through the right place. Seems I am. Yeah, the captain of banks. The captain of banks, cool. So, is there another um, 
Entrance to the caves? Yeah. But it seems this one was the last one we found. Yep. Now to make our way back to Ondor. That should finish our work here. We will need to head into Isengard soon if we intend to put an end to the goblins though. Agility, let me see. Can I maybe... No. I'm not gonna take that one. Bluestone necklace, no. Cloak, no. Ah. Nothing that good, but let us take the cloak. Well, Barathan, since we have done what damage we can here, it's about time you meet up back with your friend Dagoras. He said he would be headed towards the gate of Isengard and could probably use a hand there. I am at your service. Well, that should take care of the matron then. I am afraid her pups are probably too tough to aspire to a single dose of that spice, but I don't think I could bring myself to kill off a bunch of pups anyway, even if they are works. I will regret that in a few months when they are gnawing on my entrails, mind you. Don't be so pessimistic. Very well, so... Dagoras will make her... will make his way towards... Um, towards Isengard, so... I think this is a good place for us to finish today's episode. Join me next time and we'll continue exploring the lands of Nankudenir. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and take care, stay safe, I will see you later my friends. Bye bye!